This is the gum leaf skeletonizer, which I think we are all about to agree is one of the best bugs of all time. Uh, it's also colloquially known as the mad hat pillar um, for a very particular reason, because as caterpillars grow, um, they, they molt their, their old skin off, uh, a bit like spiders and snakes do. But this bug, this bug has got some serious main character energy because when it sheds its exoskeleton, it doesn't completely discard it. Uh, instead, it leaves its old molted head stuck on the top of its new head like a teeny tiny hat. Um, and there's more because this caterpillar can molt up to 13 times. And every time each head remains perched on top of the head before, so it ends up with essentially a little tower of old heads as hats. Now, why on earth would it do this, right? What possible purpose could a tower of head hats? Hat heads? It's quite hard to say. <laughs> head hat whatever well we're not sure uh, but in 2016 there was a, a study that, that gave us a clue uh, what they did is they took some of these caterpillars and they removed some of their old heads and then they put them in a dish with uh, some other bugs that wanted to eat them an insect cage fight right um and uh, what they noticed was the caterpillars that had fewer heads right sort of one or two heads they they didn't last very long at all but the ones who had a whole stack used those hats to bat away the other bugs. And uh, sometimes they lasted even longer because the bugs got confused and just attacked the wrong head. Um, so, you know, maybe they're onto something. Um, I think I've still got time to sort this out before Ascot this year.